in Boston, I believe we had a bit of a significant reaction to uh, what happened after the bombings in, in, during the marathon, obviously. And the cops went after the two suspects. They found them. Uh, one of them was killed in a shootout. Another one was apprehended after a gigantic shootout with the cops when he was on the boat. And Bill Maher took exception to it in a way that surprised me, honestly. Let's watch. Show some of the pictures of the Boston police, okay? Look at this. I mean, if, if this is what you have, why don't you invade a country? <laughs> Show some of the other ones. I mean, go up to Canada, take their oil. Uh, <laughs> look at these. These are half tracks. These, I don't care what you, you might want to call it an urban assault vehicle, but we, this country is becoming a police state, and it is very troubling to me. Now show the clip. This is, I want to show this tape. This is the cops firing into the boat where the kid was hiding. Okay, <laughs> to me that's out of hand. And the now, boat is now, ruined. First of all, <laughs> the boat is totally ruined. Yeah. Then what the cops did there was unprofessional. But Bill, that's called but, contagious but, fire. If you have training, it's ridiculous. It's out of control. All right, obviously we put all that together in the shootout. You've probably seen it by now. We showed it to you on the Young Turks. About 200 rounds fired. It's a minor miracle that the uh, suspect was not killed. Now, it, it's a curious case to pick to focus on because the suspects here don't have a lot of sympathy. And if there's ever a time for the police state to crack down on something, it's when you got two bombers on the loose. So I agree with Bill Maher and Ron Paul that um, we're too much of a big brother police state now, but God, I really think they, they couldn't have picked a worse example. So here comes Ron Paul about that same issue. He says, the Boston bombing provided the opportunity for the government to turn what should have been a police investigation into a military style occupation of an American city. This unprecedented move should frighten us as much or more than the attack itself. Now, but wait a minute. If they had used that as an excuse to keep what appear to be tanks, and I agree with Maher on that, they look like tanks, right? In the city forever, but then, whoa, whoa, then I'm with Paul and Bill Maher, that's crazy, take the tanks out. All right, we got the guys, right? But they didn't keep them forever. They, you know, and, and I'm not sure that those kind of, you know, military style equipment belongs in a city, and I know that I don't like the police state surveillance. But again, they came in, they got the guys, they got out. That is kind of what they're supposed to do. And then here comes Ron Paul uh, Moore. He says, now, it, it was a forced lockdown of a city, uh, militarized police riding tanks in the streets, door-to-door -door armed searches without warrants, families thrown out of their homes at gunpoint to be searched without probable cause, businesses forced to close, transport shut down. These were not the scenes for a military coup in a far-off banana republic, but rather the scenes just over a week ago in Boston as the United States got a taste of martial law. Now, but wait a minute, when you do martial law, you take away people's rights, and then you don't restore them for quite some time. Not like, hey, I think there might be a bomber in your house, can I look through it for a second? Now, if they had used that power to say, oh, but while I was looking through your house, I saw a joint, and so you're under arrest, and then they did that throughout the city, and they used it as an excuse to establish more police power, then again, I would be with Ron Paul, I would be with Bill Maher. But they didn't. They were looking for the Baumers, and they found them. And I'm, I think you'd be hard pressed to find anybody in Boston, or a lot of people in Boston, who would think that the police overstepped their bounds there. I think most people thought they did a pretty good job. One more from Ron Paul. He said, the ostensible reason for the military style takeover of parts of Boston was that the accused perpetrator of a horrific crime was on the loose. To which I say, exactly. <laughs> right. And again, guys, you got to understand, if they stayed, then it's a whole different ballgame. But they came in, they got the guys, they got out. I'm not happy with the size of government. I'm not happy with the size of the police state. I, I think their surveillance is outrageous and unconstitutional. But you don't make a very good argument when you then turn around the one time they did something right and you blame them for it anyway. I don't think you're going to win a lot of converts over to your side of the argument saying, oh man, Ron Paul and Bill Maher, they nailed it for the libertarian or liberal or whatever perspective by saying, oh, police state's unacceptable. You see the way they caught those bombers? Yeah, I did. And I don't think that's the biggest problem with our police state. So I'm just keeping it real here.